Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to factorize a quadratic expression uh, that's, that involves the difference of two squares. Now, the difference of two squares is when you have one number squared minus another number squared. And to factorize this, what you do is you have two sets of brackets. In the first set, you have the first number minus the second number. And in the second bracket, you have the first number plus the second number. And notice that there's no squares in either of these brackets now. I'll show you where this expression comes from uh, at the end of the video. But first, I'm going to show you two examples. First example is x squared minus 9. And the second example is a little bit harder where we have 25x squared minus 36y squared. So x squared minus 9, the first thing we need to do to that is actually write it as two squares. So x squared is already a square, but we need to write 9 as 3 squared. Now we have the difference of two squares. So we have x squared minus 3 squared. We can write that in this form here. So that's going to be equal to x minus 3 times x plus 3. Now, the order of these brackets, it doesn't actually matter. If we had x plus 3 times x minus 3, it wouldn't make a difference. For the next example, 25x squared minus 36y squared, we need to do the same. We need to write each term as a perfect square. So if you know your square numbers, you'll know that 25 is actually 5 squared. So I can write 25x squared as 5x in brackets to be squared because 5x times 5x is 25x squared. I can write 36y squared as 6y to be squared. So now I have the difference of two squares. I have 5x to be squared minus 6y to be squared. So using my formula from before, I can write this as 5x minus 6y times 5x plus 6y. And that's the difference of two squares. Now, I said I would show you where this comes from. And an easy way to show where this comes from is to expand brackets like this. We have a minus b times a plus b. Well, if we can expand these, we know we do the first by the first. That will give us a squared. We do the first by the second. That'll give us plus a b. We do the second by the first. That gives us minus a b. And we do the second by the second. And that gives us minus b squared. Now, you'll notice that these terms in the middle, plus AB, minus AB, well, they're actually equal to zero. So we're left with A squared minus B squared. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, just ask in the comments below. Um, and I will see you next time.